Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to check the Smart Predict Failure in Windows. Smart is a self-monitoring analysis and reporting technology that is supposed to let you know that your hard drive is going to fail. Something I like to take a peek at every once in a while. We can do everything from PowerShell and it's really easy. So, if you think your hard drive has problems, let's take a look first and see if there's a problem with your drive. Open PowerShell, use this line, and actually you can use either line in PowerShell, or open Command Prompt and use this line here. We're gonna do PowerShell. Windows key plus X, and Windows PowerShell, let's run as admin. And as I mentioned, Control V will paste that line in. Go ahead and press Enter now. And as you can see, I have a predict failure of false. In a perfect world, that's what you're looking for, your hard drive should be okay. I'm putting my fingers in quotes. You can't see it. I'm doing air quotes. Should be. We'll get to more on that in just a minute. And a reason code. If you get true, you're going to have a reason code. You want to take note of that reason code right there. Let me show you. And in the article link, which you can find in the video description or the little eye that pops up around here somewhere, look up your error codes on Wikipedia. I did this because Wikipedia page is updated and I want to make sure if you get an error code that if my guide hasn't been updated in a month and I don't have your code, I want to make sure you have it. So a lot of these codes actually have, are proprietary. Samsung, Seagate, you'll see some stuff in here like, where is it? There it is, Kingston. So that wouldn't necessarily apply to most people. And as you can see, you can see with the error code messages, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not a lot here it's going to help you it's pretty much just telling you your drive's going to be dying usually so what you want to do is stop everything you're doing if you've got a return of true and back your hard drive up get your data off there get your documents your videos your pictures your music get it off of there once that's done we can move forward and deal with whether the drive is shot or not and again this tutorial is more to tell you how to check the failure and find out if you can why what we want to do next is perhaps run check disk, see if we can find drive errors. So we can do chk dsk space forward slash f space your hard drive. So you would replace the E. Let me show you. Control V. And typically, so I do C colon, that's my primary drive. Typically, it's going to tell you files are locked and it wants to do it on the next reboot. So you're going to want to close all your open programs, assuming you've backed up your computer. You did that, right? close everything it's open and then you'll reboot let me show you let's press enter me look stupid yes so as you can see the volumes in use so it'll do that on your next restart so press Y after you've closed everything and your computer will reboot and check your drive for errors next up you can always try system file checker because maybe you have corrupted files bit of a longer tutorial so that you can just click this link right here we have a video on how to use it right here because it takes a few steps as you can see it's not hard but it takes a few steps so go ahead and try that out and last but not least assuming you've backed up the only opportunity you have which really is probably not going to fix anything you could try and format the drive following this exact command right here and you might get lucky but typically if you got down this far you probably have a failed hard drive. So there's other possibilities. And hey, if you're watching the video and you're like, hey, you forgot something, put it in the comments. Let people know we can help everybody help each other. So there you have it. But in a perfect world, you're going to end up with false and you can move forward. So really, it's kind of hard to explain to you. So again, almost don't have a choice. False or true. Well, if it's false, you definitely want to do the check dish and the system file checker. And if it's true, you want to back up and see if you can save your drive with those two steps. It's it's a Hail Mary at this point if you ended up with a return code. So there you have it. That'll at least get you started on how to check your smart predict failure. Maybe you never tried it before. Nice, cool way to do it right in PowerShell. So as always, bottom right corner is the Major Geeks logo. I don't know, somewhere over here. Click on that. You can subscribe and click like if we helped you out. Feel free to leave a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See ya.